Some of the four-legged survivors of Hurricane Florence are hoping to start all over again in Hampton Roads. A shelter in Williamsburg is taking care of animals that were forced from shelters in North Carolina and South Carolina to make room for pets that were separated from their owners. Megan Perrier has the story. David Regina, the shelter was able to take five more cats than originally expected, and I caught up with them today to learn more about how they're helping people and the animals that are impacted by Florence. We're very honored to be able to do our little part as much as we can here in Williamsburg to help the burden that Hurricane Florence um, wreaked on the Carolinas. Marketing manager Darcy Vanderslick and her team at the Heritage Humane Society took the 14 hour drive Monday to pick up dogs and cats from shelters. To be able to go down there with an empty truck full of empty carriers and bring all those carriers back full, um, it was an indescribable feeling. These animals were up for adoption in shelters that needed to be evacuated. We never know how these animals are going to come to us, what they've been through, what sort of not only physical harm that they may have endured, but also emotional harm. But there's a cost for everything from the animal's medical bills to food, even transportation. And now the shelter is also full. Now we are fuller because of the dogs and cats that we were able to take. And it's over $2,500 for us to do that. The shelter needs help from adoptions to donations so they can keep helping the Carolinas. Number one goal was to, to, was to make space. And so that those pets would have a chance, um, the ones that um, were um, caught in the floodwaters that were that were owned and very much loved could have a chance to find their owners back. Now those local shelters in the Carolinas will have more space to take in local animals found from the storm. So that their owners know where to look for their pets because that's the number one place where you would go first is the local shelter. Once those rescued cats and dogs are cleared by a veterinarian, they'll be up for adoption. The shelter says it could be as soon as this coming Friday or early next Monday. Live in the studio, I'm Megan Perrier, 13 News Now. Students in Williamsburg, James City County Schools know their